Welcome to Berlin. I'm Yunus Paksoy. This week, German intelligence is accused of employing a right-wing extremist to spy on mosques, and Angela Merkel's multi-million euro COVID-19 app isn't working as planned as the country considers coronavirus tests for travelers returning from abroad. We have a cracking show for you, so let's take a look at the five stories that you should know about. Was an undercover agent spying on Muslims? Well, according to the weekly magazine Der Spiegel, German intelligence placed a woman with alleged right-wing extremist views in a mosque in Bavaria. She reportedly gathered information there between 2014 and 2016 and passed it on to the German state. And the story doesn't end there. It's reported that the very same undercover agent is now working for the far-right alternative for Germany party in the German parliament. The opposition is calling it a scandal and say they demand an explanation. Over a month ago, the German government proudly unveiled its coronavirus warning app. Its main function is to warn people if they come in contact with others suspected of carrying COVID-19. But the app isn't doing so well. It hasn't been properly functioning on iPhones. The developers are said to have known about the glitch for weeks and it's causing uproar, with many now calling the government's 60 million euro app a fiasco. Seems the app hasn't quite lived up to the expectations set out by Angela Merkel's chief of staff. Das ist nicht die erste Corona App weltweit, die vorgestellt wird, aber ich bin ziemlich überzeugt, es ist die beste. German federal state health ministers have been clashing over COVID-19 tests for travelers returning home. Walkthrough testing centers are already in use at several airports, but testing is not compulsory. It is now being proposed that the test should be offered at every airport in Germany. But Germany's health minister insists that testing should be compulsory for people returning from high-risk areas. And the debate has shifted to who will pay for the testing, the state or the traveler. We want that all Rückreisende sich testen lassen. Aber äh, wir wissen, dass, dass, dass ein Test auch nur eine Momentaufnahme ist. Äh, das heißt, wenn sie negativ getestet werden, kann sein, dass sie dann später auch wieder positiv werden. Scores of people in Western Germany have been protesting against the demolition of a road called L277 to make way for the expansion of a coal mine. Locals in the region consider the road as a kind of border between the coal mine and their village. And they say that they are worried that if the road is demolished, their homes will be next. Germany has pledged to end coal mining and usage by 2038. So the further development of the mine is seen as hypocrisy. Na, für mich gibt's einfach keinen Grund hier wegzugehen. Meine Familie lebt hier schon seit Generationen. Ich wollte immer diesen Hof übernehmen. Ich bin jetzt Anfang 30 oder ich werde jetzt 30. Genau, ich habe das fest geplant und für mich. Berghain is one of the most well-known techno music clubs in Berlin. But it's been shut since COVID-19 restrictions kicked in. Recently, the club has found a new lease of life. These days, it's home to a new exhibition. Visitors can explore the building while listening to rhythmic murmurings and soft city noises. Uh, und man wandert sozusagen den Klängen im Raum hinterher. Fear seems to be creeping back to Germany as concerns grow over a second wave of COVID-19. And as the country scrambles to find a solution, we'll be watching all the developments and bringing you the latest. Until next time.